to my channel and welcome if you're new here and if you are new here my name is Lydia and I'm a stay-at-home mom to my three kids married to the love of my life and we just do a variety of things on this channel um, I love to share the day-to-day -day of motherhood and just decorating and all the different things that we do as mothers I like to share on this channel so hopefully you're interested in that and you'll stick around and join the channel that would be awesome I'd love to have you Today we're going to be doing some things that I found at thrift store. We're going to show you how I flip them and use them into my Christmas decor. Um, there was a lot of things where I wanted some new thing, new pieces for certain areas. At the end of the year, I always kind of make a list of what I'm looking for for my next year um, to decorate because I have loved Christmas my whole entire life. Um, when I was like 13 years old, I started saving up Christmas decor. And I know that sounds crazy to most people, but that's just how much I love Christmas and how much I knew I wanted to have like a lot of Christmas decor when I got married and had my own home. And so when we first got married, my husband and I, our house was fully decorated for Christmas the first year of marriage. And I know that doesn't happen to a lot of people because you just don't have the money to buy all those things. But that's how much I love Christmas. So a lot of the things that I have, I've collected over the years. I just... Kind of added to it and my husband often says that it's a little crazy how much christmas stuff i have but he enjoys it as well he just tries to act like he don't um but we definitely have a lot of christmas decor anyway we're gonna go ahead and get into this thrifting video i'm going to share with y'all what i got and maybe how i flipped it and how i incorporate it into my home and i hope y'all enjoy So I found this set of six Christmas tree napkin rings at my local thrift store for $3 and it worked out great because I have six table settings on my dining room table and I knew I wanted to do something a little different this year on my table setting and so I really liked these. I thought they were so pretty. I wasn't really a huge fan of the green so I kind of debated for a little while what I was going to paint them and I have some antique gold rub and buff that I've used for several projects this year. And so I tried a little bit of that on like the tips and just kind of seeing if I like that. And then I did, so I kind of went throughout and added just a little bit more with a little paintbrush. And I really like how they turned out. And I'm gonna show you the table setting of what's gonna be on my table, but I'm not gonna show you my actual dining room table setting like completely done yet, cause I wanna share that in another video. Um, but I really like how these turned out with the gold rub and buff on them. I really think it just totally changed the look of them. I found these really pretty glasses at my local thrift store. They were 80 cents, but because when I was there, green tag was half off. So I got them for 40 cents and they had exactly six that I needed. So we're gonna add these to our table setting. You can often find these little village houses at your thrift store for really inexpensive. I found mine for 50 cents at my local thrift store and I knew I wanted to just kind of paint them all a white or black or whatever. I kind of debated on those two colors, but I went with all white and then I'm going to show you how I kind of added some like fake snow to them. But these are really easy to find most of the time and you can just paint them whatever color you want. And I liked how actually painting them white afterwards, you could still read like the little signs that were on them as to what they were, like the little buildings. And so I thought that was really neat. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, you can even see where this, like the fake snow on the original houses was coming through, but I was going to add some like sparkle to it. So I got 
some Mod Podge and then just a little paintbrush and kind of went back over where the little snow was. And I'm going to add some um, fake snow from Dollar Tree. And I'm also on one of them going to show you what it looks like to use like some Epsom salt. Because I know a lot of people use Epsom salt um, to get that like snowy kind of look. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do both of those on these houses. So the little church here is done with the Epsom salt and I like it honestly a little bit better because I feel like it's more clean looking. It still kind of gives that snowy look without kind of being like a lot of sparkle and a lot of extra stuff and the fake snow kind of did that. So kind of look, I'm going to show you both and you, you know, decide which one you like best. But I think my personal opinion, I like the, the Epsom salt, the look of it better. Um, I've had this tray that I've had for years from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to just add in some some pine that I went outside and cut and I'm going to lay that on the bottom of it and also going to use some little tea light candles so that there will be some glow coming through the windows. I actually found this little milk glass, I guess it's a vase or a bowl, I'm not really sure which, at our antique store in town and it was only $1.50. So I was really excited about that because a lot of times people will really charge up on the milk glass items. And so I thought this would be so pretty with some like fresh pine in it and a pine cone and some ribbon. So that's what we're going to do with this. I also found this set of four, I believe they're brass napkin rings. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm not good at knowing what is brass and stuff, but I believe that's what it is. And I'm just going to use these on our kitchen table. And I thought they were really pretty. These were a dollar from our local thrift store. And so if you're ever looking for some napkin rings, the thrift store is a great place to look for those. You often can find so many unique different ones. I really like using old songs like um, Christmas songs in my decor and so I thought hey why not get an old hymnal from the thrift store my local thrift store I guess a church had donated a bunch there was like 50 of them there so I grabbed one for a dollar and just cut out a Christmas song out of the Christmas section going to throw it in this 9 by 13 pan and pour some hot tea over top of it um, what I looked up on Pinterest actually said coffee and it said let it set for 12 hours but I actually used tea and within like an hour and a half, I could tell it was already turning. 
So I just took it out and set it on a plate to like dry overnight. And when I got up the next morning, it was completely dry and I was able to go ahead and add it to my frame. Here you can see the original color of the paper and I think the tea did a really good job for only being in there for like two hours. I thought it turned out perfect. So next I found this, I believe it's supposed to be a waste basket. It was kind of misshapen, um, but I knew something I wanted to use it for. I had got a little tree from Walmart last year on clearance and I had like a burlap bottom but I really wasn't a fan of it and then I found this little gold star and it was 80 cents at our local thrift store and I also thought I could add that to that same little tree. Next, I found these spheres at our local thrift store. They were $2 each and they were kind of like, they looked and they looked rusty, but they were, I almost looked like somebody used like a copper rub and buff on them. So I spray painted them with a champagne gold spray paint and then I went over them with the antique gold rub and buff and I really like how these turned out. Now they're gonna go on my dining room table so I can't show you quite yet how I use them, but that will be in a video coming up so you can see how I use them on my table. Next, my antique store, my local antique store, had this little bell for a dollar, and I thought it was so pretty. So I didn't really do a whole lot to this, except I'm going to add some little red ribbon to it to make it all festive for Christmas. So I found some grapevine, a big roll of it at the thrift store. It was $1.50 and I thought I could use this in my chandelier as a base so that I could add in some fresh pine. And so I just wrapped it around and then cut off where I needed to cut it off. And I went out and cut some pine out of my yard and added that to it. I've always wanted to do this, but just never have. And so when I found this grapevine, I thought that would work really good. And as I know this is really an awkward kind of camera view, but um, I have my dining room somewhat done and I didn't want to share that yet. And also my kids were home from school running around playing and so just thought this would be a better way to kind of show you how that grapevine makes it so much easier to just kind of have a base to add your pine to. And I really like how it turned out and you'll see more of you know that when I do my dining room for you. I also found this little sign at my antique store in my town and it was only a dollar as well and I'm going to show you in an upcoming video what I used it for but it's just going to probably go on a wreath in my kitchen but that's going to be all for today I hope that y'all enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one